What is up ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're having a fantastic day in today's video. We're going to be playing with the new MX-9. It recently received a buff. It reduced its horizontal recoil and this was already a pretty strong weapon. The biggest issue it had that kind of held it out of the meta and it wasn't able to compete with some other SMGs was the horizontal recoil. So them fixing this kind of restores it to its old status and it's much easier to control and use. I have some really good gameplay for you guys today, but before we get into that, let me show you the gunsmith. I am running MIP extended light barrel, lightweight stock, foregrip, hybrid mag for the MX-9 and Russell grip tape. This isn't the most aggressive you can build this gun, but this is overall super solid and it really worked for me. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section down below. If you guys do enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe. Let's get into the gameplay and I'm going to continue talking about the MX-9. Also, this is a Call of Duty mobile sponsored video. This was a pretty dominant gameplay. I dropped a ton of kills. I think almost 50 here. At one point in the game, if you keep watching, I mean, I'm popping off right now, but one point in the game, I get like a nine kill feed, but it was crazy. We got like halfway to our nuke in about like 15 seconds so watch that but i'm gonna quickly explain how you use the mx9 i probably don't need to you probably know how to use it but it has a ton of strafe speed of course this build does not have as much strafe speed as you can possibly build on it you can make it even faster if you want to i just think it's kind of harder to aim when you're strafing back and forth so for me i just like a good balance of both to so make sure you're moving when you're shooting with this gun try to get close to them obviously it doesn't really have that great of range so you can kind of see what i'm doing right here throughout this gameplay i'm in their spawn uh, i'm playing around at close angles slide peeking a lot using abusing movement really you don't want to challenge people who are on head glitches or are at a distance from you unless you are really accurate kind of like i am in this clip or they're not looking at you or something because even then when the guy was not looking at me it still took a lot of bullets to kill him this build also has pretty decent hip fire i've tried builds that don't but i think hip fire is pretty important on this because you're going to be in a lot of close range fights but th this gameplay was actually crazy i think no this isn't where i started to pop off i, I pop off later on in this gameplay but i like the mx9 a lot i still think i'm a bit a bigger fan of the qxr right now i think that's my favorite smg second favorite is going to be the qq9 of course that's always going to be top three for me i haven't really tried the ppsh in a while i'm not sure if it's any good i don't think it's very good because i i really haven't seen anyone use it at all i haven't seen anyone even pull it out in a single ranked match in like two seasons now what happened to it did it get nerfed in the ground let me know in the comments below mx9 though definitely a top five for me now i still think this season is dominated by uh assault rifles i used the amatix right after this game and i dropped 50 also but it just felt so much easier of course it was on terminal too so that might explain it but i think it's still an ar dominated meta i'm gonna have a man of war video coming out here very soon because that also got buffed any three shot gun at this point i think is going to be pretty good in rank and usable a lot of people i've seen in the comments still complain about the cbr you know of course still very very dominant weapon you know so i don't think i need to explain why people are complaining about it but i think it's not too bad this season i think there's a lot of other options and i might need to like do i feel like i need to make some changes to my top five list because the maddox is good man it's really good it's like surprising me i keep seeing people use it in most of my games and and it's really dominant i uh might have might have screwed up by not adding it to the top five list i'm not really sure uh, but here we go into standoff which is another really good map i would say summit standoff and nuketown are three of the best maps for using this gun so if you see if you get those maps pull it out if you don't if you get something like terminal if you've ever been to my streams i think that's easily the worst map ever i know a lot of people are going to disagree especially if you played the older call of duties but i don't know it just feels super unbalanced and it feels like you can't pull out smgs and I, that's what i'm known for so uh if you see specific maps pull this out and if you're on longer range maps like maybe firing range for example try the maddox out i'm i've been having so much fun with it anyways that's gonna be pretty much the end of today's video i'm sorry it was a very short one i didn't have too much time to record i'm going out for and the whole next week i'm gonna be gone so i need to stack up on videos anyways thank y'all for watching and i'll see you next time enjoy the little 10 seconds of this gameplay